Alhamdulillah, the Lihada and Lihada, Mamakun Narinahta Lihada, the opportunity to learn something, to understand, and to gain some wisdom out of the, the knowledge that will be shared tonight. Um, was it not for his guidance? Surely we would be amongst us. Tonight we're looking specifically at the creation of mankind. The first story of Genesis is the one that you're most familiar with, which is uh, that uh, God created the earth in seven days, right? And we have all those wonderful things that God creates, let there be light, and it was good, it's the refrain over and over. Uh, and then on the sixth day, uh, God creates humans. Um, and <coughs> certainly in English translations, we miss uh, some important nuances. There's some sense of a plurality either within a unified God or something else is going on there. So I think if there's an argument for and against certain things about the origin of life, we have this kind of attitude. So you have a point, and you want to um, push that point forward, and you come with certain um, um, views or opinions, and then not to lose ground, you kind of just add more and more, and sometimes we do that. So what I think we need to do here today is to kind of look at really what we have, and kind of bringing it together, and see if it works for us in the 21st century. You ask a religious person, to define God, right? And they will probably tell you something like God is everywhere present, right? It's all powerful, uh, omnipotent, uh, omniscient, knows it all, and, um, and it's eternal, right? Now if you ask a scientist to define energy, they will probably say something like it's all powerful, it's everywhere, it knows it all, and it's eternal. You know, from in my own personal path, I struggled, as I was saying, with like, how did I get here? And my question began to turn not so much, you know, to like, where did I come from, but really, what am I here to do? Something that has always bothered me yeah. from very, very young is why in all faiths do we refer to God as He? Um, as masculine, um, it's we talk about energy. Why are we connecting masculine to it? Why a gender? Right. God in Islam. Um, if you look at the, the 99 qualities of God, they could be interpreted as both masculine and feminine qualities. Uh, in the New Testament, Numa is the word for that we now would use for the Holy Spirit when we talk about Holy Spirit. And in the Old Testament, uh, Ruach was the word. Uh, both of those are feminine, uh, feminine words. You know, um, a relationship and a connectedness. Um, and I think that that, that that is something that that many of us miss, is, is how do we enrich and enhance and develop that, that, that relationship, not, not only vertically, yeah. with, with, with the source of life, but also horizontally with people that we, that we're supposed to be living with every day.